Results were so good with my Delta Loop last week that I'd thought I'd build a permanent version. It's a lot smaller and fairly compact, so we'll take a closer look. Thick pipe is used to store the wire, but there's enough room inside to fit some of the other parts of the antenna. Holding it together is the Velcro strap that also holds the squid pole. The one-to-one -one ballon, still on a chopping board, but a lot better looking than before, with a BNC socket on the radio end. I'm using figure eight cable for the antenna lead-in. That has an impedance of around 100 ohms, which is pretty close to that of a delta loop. Now, figure eight cable does have loss, so I wouldn't recommend it for long runs. But in this case, it's only a couple of meters, so it should be okay. At the end of the figure eight is a small piece of printed circuit board material. That has sockets attached. They actually come from those nylon power connections, usually with three, six, nine, or 12 pins or so. I'm using the other ends for the antenna wire. And then some spade lugs, which go to the ballon. I may need an antenna coupler between the transceiver and the ballon, especially for bands other than 20 meters. As for the antenna wire itself, I'm still using a small piece of chopping board at the apex of the antenna that's tied to the top of the squid pole. The reason for that is it saves the inconvenience of having to thread the whole length of the wire through the eye at the top of the squid pole. As for the other corners of the antenna, I've just tied a knot in the wire. You can thread string through them if required to keep them in position. This simplified antenna takes around 10 minutes to erect and with only one pole and no critical spacing, it's much quicker to put up than say a Moxon. As you'd expect, without an antenna coupler, the SWR isn't quite one to one. I do have an antenna coupler, but didn't bring enough cables. I'll try it without the antenna coupler and see how the results go. Yeah, okay, Pete, Pete, three Yankee Echo, M0 HG8. Uh, tremendous job, QRP, uh, Pete, at the end of the PA. It's uh, absolute truth, you just can't believe it. And you're firing 757, uh, doing a, a tremendous job. VK3, uh, uh, Yankee Echo, uh, here is Mexico 1, Echo Alpha Charlie. Mike 1, Echo Alpha Charlie there, repeat. Uh, fine signal QRP there, you're 5 and 6, 56. Uh, but boy oh boy, if that's all the power you're running, uh, Peter, that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, you're about 5 and 4, 5 and 4 is your report. Absolutely unbelievable for such a low power, Peter. GW4, X-ray, zero X-ray. Mike, the to mobile. by six with 40 watts. Five by six with 40 watts. No problems at all. Over. Hey, Roger. Thanks. And I will reduce my power. I will reduce my power to about five watts. Now I have a five by six. You're about a four by uh, four by four. Four by four. 4x4 four four with 5 watts. Once again, the results have been great, proving it wasn't just the fluke of a big contest last weekend that made the antenna perform. 